What's up guys and welcome back to Wall Street Millennial. On this channel, we cover all things stocks and investing, and today we're going to go over some of the most insane gains and losses on the Wall Street Bets form of the week so far, so we can learn from other traders' experiences. Before we move on, please note that we are not financial advisors and this video is for entertainment purposes only. First we have an example of someone who tried to short GameStop but had it backfire in their face. Wall Street Bets user Chloe Stella made the unfortunate mistake of buying puts on GameStop. So far, the position has lost $14,442 on 5 March 12th 180 strike puts, good for a 94.22% loss. A position of 10 contracts of 250 strike puts has lost even more than that at $21,638. Finally, 5 180 strike puts expiring on March 19th have incurred a $10,902 loss so far. As you already know, GameStop holders have been vindicated in the last month, even after the original short squeeze. GameStop stock has increased 344% in the past 30 days, despite being down significantly in the most recent few days. This has undoubtedly caused unknowable embarrassment and frustration for any hedge funds who might still be short GameStop. The OP can also be counted in with them. Unsurprisingly, the comment section has no sympathy for this loss. Paul Westbrook says, whole lot of rainbow bear activity, and Harble 8 simply says, quote, these are puts, unquote. User NailAttack says to be careful posting GameStop puts on Wall Street bets, which is something that people should know well by now. In the midst of the verbal attack, the OP responds to one saying that she is still playing the game. That takes a lot of nerve after almost $40,000 of losses trying to short GameStop during a short squeeze. Recently, Wall Street bets users have started referring to themselves as apes. Apes are highly communal animals who stick together and have each other's backs. Many Wall Street Bets users refer to themselves as apes to signify their sense of belonging to the community and willingness to work together, for example, during the GameStop short squeeze. Some Wall Street Bets users have taken this trend so far as to actually donate some of their GameStop attendees to guerrilla conservation charities to express their support for the community. On March 13th, Wall Street Bets user Hossley B posted a screenshot showing his donation to the Diane Fossley Guerrilla Fund under the name of GameStop. The trend has since blown up and Wall Street Bets users have collectively raised more than a quarter million dollars for the Gorilla Fund. In acknowledgement of this trend, the Wall Street Bets moderators updated the background picture of the subreddit to include gorillas in a large diamond being held by two hands in the center. The phenomenon has become so big that the CEO of the fund made a video specifically thanking Wall Street Bets for their support of gorilla conservation. Hi Wall Street Bets, my name is Tara Stavinsky, I'm the President and CEO of the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund, and I was just made aware that you have been adopting gorillas through our website, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for this incredible support. In case you're not familiar with us, we are the world's largest and longest running organization that is fully dedicated to gorilla conservation. Every day, 365 days a year, we are in the field protecting the world's remaining gorillas and also helping the people who share their forest home. So thank you again so much for your support. It will go a long way in helping our important mission. This is yet another heartwarming example of the generosity and high moral integrity of the Wall Street Bets community. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you like this content and want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. Members get access to all of our non-time sensitive videos one day in advance and will be able to vote on which topics we make videos on. If you don't want to join as a channel member, you can still help us out by smashing that like button and you'll still get full access to all our videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.